In terms of Sharon Tate, for me, she feels like the kind of light and optimism um, in terms of if she's a kind of theme around this film. For you, when you were approached and asked to play her, where did you start with her? Uh, it was very clear in the way that Quentin had, had written her that she really was more of a presence throughout the film and very much to bring, like you said, that hope, that optimism, the light, kind of show the, the wonderful parts of Hollywood in 1969. Um, and for you, sir, I think that one thing that people forget about Mr. Tarantino is he's an extraordinary director, but he's also an exceptional writer. And I wanted to ask what your response was when you first read the script and what it was that tipped you over to say yes to play Cliff. Well, first of all, when Tarantino calls, everyone says yes. No question. <laughs> okay. But on the immediate read, it's, it's pretty... He, it's, it's so specific, his writing. It's, it's pretty um, evident what... The shape, the flavor, the tone of the thing. Yeah. So it's it's automatic. He makes it really easy for us. And Leo, for you, in terms of this character, there's so many layers to him and so many parts that you have to play as an actor. It's a film within a film. It's all that kind of stuff. Does he encourage you to kind of bring as much of it yourself to the table as what's on the script? I, I would say a combination of both. The amazing thing about getting to work with Quentin is all the reference that he gives you, not only from... His own, from history, from his own imagination, but actually getting to watch films. I mean, it's truly an educational process. He's one of the most unique visionary filmmakers of our time, and his ability to combine, you know, fairy tales with reality is is nobody else does it like him. So, the the, the whole process of of, of creating these characters and the, all that reference is what makes the uh, the film ultimately an in incredibly enjoyable experience. How would you describe being on set of a Quentin Tarantino film? Because I've spoken to producers, some of your other castmates here as well tonight, and it feels like such a kind of family environment in terms of all teamwork. Is that how you would describe it? It is. I mean, so many of the crew members that, are, that you work with on the set have worked with Quentin since, you know, Marty's worked with him since Reservoir Dogs. So, I mean, there, there really is a community and family feel there and they all have in-jokes. And then anyone welcome to that family for the first time is immediately, you know, feel, feels a part of it. It's, it's fun and he always plays music. And, On um, set? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, yeah. So, um, it was just a lot of fun. Yeah. Does anyone else get to pick the music or is it just Quentin that gets to choose the music? There's no need to step in. He's, <laughs> he's, 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 he's pretty good at it. Yeah, yeah he, can pick a, he can pick a tune. Um, what was your reaction when you f saw the film finished for the first time? Um, I mean, pleased as punch. You know, Tarantino always brings something fresh and something new and very unique. And what I most love about this one that I, I didn't understand during shooting, it, it really feels like a confluence of all his work. There's a little bit of all his previous work in this and it's thread, threaded really beautifully. Yeah. And Leo, in terms of, of for you for this character, what was the, the preparation that you did? I believe that you kind of stepped into the world of a particular TV star that, was, that Quentin was a big fan of. Yeah, as Brad was saying, it's really an homage or a love story to the industry. And, you know, Brad and I in this film play characters that are sort of voyeuristic. We're, the culture has left us behind, the industry has left us behind, and we're watching the, the changing of the guard, so to speak. So it was, it was interesting to, to not only to step into this time period, but to play two guys that are sort of on the outskirts, trying to fight, trying to still survive within a, the, the industry that they love. But it really is a, a love letter to Hollywood and Los Angeles.